My Hero Academia has been especially interesting lately on account of the many reveals that have come our way. With this video, we will be talking about things of that sort, and so if you are an anime-only fan and would like to avoid manga spoilers, this may not be the video for you. For the most part, as of late, the focus of our attention has been centered on Dabi and the reveal of his true identity. That of Toya Todoroki, first son of Endeavor and oldest brother of Shoto. Now, at least for now, as we anticipated, Endeavor has had a difficult time in the face of this realization as he is stunned to the point of not moving, even when the danger of the situation began to close in on him and the others. Meanwhile, despite his own flurry of emotions, Shoto was actually the one to beg for his father to do something, thinking of others before himself despite his own confusion. Now, Shoto is to a certain extent a personification of Endeavor's hopes and dreams as he is a product Endeavor had aimed towards for so many years, conceiving child after child. And it's along this train of thought that at one point, Dabi intended to have Shoto rise up getting closer and closer to Endeavor's ultimate goal for him, only to then slaughter him as the enactment of his revenge. However, thanks to Endeavor's circumstantial rise to the number one hero spot, plans changed. But even then, that doesn't entirely remove the likelihood of these two now estranged siblings clashing against one another. Despite his own sadness, Shoto would have been the furthest person from Toya in the family, as Shoto himself wasn't really allowed to interact with his siblings on account of them being discarded failures in the eyes of Endeavor. This gradually changed as he got older, but by then, Toya was out of the picture already. There was, however, the mention of Toya's incredible firepower during Shoto's early training, and so he may very well understand more than anyone else the sort of struggles Toya may have had to go through, both mentally and physically. Shoto himself at one point truly did hate his father as well, but in his recognition of true heroics in the form of All Might as a youngin, continued along the path of heroics that was too much for Toya to bear. Now, a fight between Dabi and Shoto would have been worth talking about for a very long time now, but with the proper confirmation of their familial connection is now an even better discussion for us to have. Success versus failure, hero versus villain, Brother versus Brother, Shoto versus Toya. Toya, for a time, was trained by his father to someday become a great hero, training that at this point he has clearly not forgotten. And with him being the first and eager to learn at the time, it's likely he absorbed all that he could like a sponge, whereas Shoto more so learned out of necessity rather than enjoyment. Endeavor has a lot of ultimate moves at his disposal, and so I'm curious what else Dobby may have learned from him. And if anything, with how obsessed he seems to be with the man, I wouldn't be surprised if he learned a few more things on his own through collective observation. Shoto, on the other hand, in his refusal of his father's will, stopped using his fire altogether from a relatively young age. And as such, his fire-based capabilities are somewhat inferior to his ice-based ones, which really just makes this hypothetical an even closer fight as far as I'm concerned. Toya's fire alone was believed to be enough to give him a shot at rivaling All Might. However, along with the intensity of his flames comes the associated charring of his own flesh. It's the Pokemon equivalent of a Charizard that only uses Flare Blitz as opposed to the far more safe but slightly weaker flamethrower. The thing is, however, we have seen Dobby fight Gaten the Iceman of the Meta Liberation Army and get really roughed up, albeit Gaten's ice, mind you, is to me at least, a bit superior to that of Shoto's. But all the same, the ice might just be hard for Dobby to deal with. Dobby doesn't have the best track record against capture instruments, but at the very least ice is something he should be able to get out of easier than anything else. Now, something that troubles me about the possibility of such a battle would have to be the preparation of Dabi. Like we said earlier, his initial plan was to kill Shoto at his father's expense. With that, he certainly had to have had prepared to take Shoto down at his best. And maybe I'm wrong, but I don't think Dabi is the sort to overestimate his own capabilities, especially not after being branded a failure for so long. 
Shoto, at the point of incredible popularity, would be in theory amongst the top 10 heroes at the very least. And yes, Dobby certainly did a number on our number two hero, Hawks, but the circumstances surrounding that event were very much not in Hawks' favor. First off, his attention and focus had to be totally aimed towards Twice at all costs. Secondly, it was a tight space, and so his movements and wings were severely hindered. And finally, Dobby's quirk is his natural weakness, a complete counter that he could only ever hope to defeat with incredible swiftness and speed, something that he, of course, could not do at the time. So either Dobby has been holding back tremendously on account of his secret identity, or he would have meticulously planned against Shoto, capitalizing on a difficult situation for him to get out of, while all the while publicizing the event as much as possible as to truly crush Endeavor. Shoto is a very capable combatant and hero, but I'm not sure if he's ready for any smoke from Dobby. But at the same time, we certainly can't count him out entirely, as he's really been putting in work in and out of the gym. Being a part of UA's hero course, Shoto has trained with the best to be the best, and is one of their top first year students. For each of his field studies, unlike most, he's managed to remain with Endeavor through them all. Which is to say that if nothing else, he should have been learning a lot about his quirk, or at least fire quirks in general, amongst the entirety of this organization that is mostly fire-based quirks. But at the same time with that being said, we have really only gotten the results of Deku's training under Endeavor, and have yet to see Bakugo's or Shoto's. More so Shoto's at this point, as it's possible Bakugo's earlier sacrifice was just that for him. Now, mind you, Endeavor in this case did have his own motives or intentions for Shoto with this training in regards to a particular move. And I would love to see Shoto use one of Endeavor's signature moves. Hopefully with his own take and spin on it, as he does have ice at his disposal, showing that yes, he is going beyond his father, but never as a villain. Never as a sort of monster that made his family suffer. Now, I am very curious about Dobby's mentality going into all this because quite clearly, he is mentally unstable and deranged, there is no question. And so, for as above it all and disillusioned as he may be by the whole concept of a hero, like a young Shigaraki, it's what he wanted to be as a kid. It was the twofold theft of this dream and the gradual abuse of his father that later shifted to abandonment that primarily led him down this dark path. I think that at his core, a part of him wants to prove his father wrong, similarly to how Shoto sought to prove that he didn't need fire to become better than Endeavor. It's just that his way of doing this is far more deadly and not something you can ever come back from. I think that at the end of the day, he wants to prove himself to be better than his father's favorite. And so, with all that we have discussed in mind, if nothing else, then at least with the power of plot armor on his side, I believe the young boy Shoto would emerge victorious. But what do you think? Let us know down below. And there is plenty to be said about My Hero Academia in regards to the Todoroki family right now. So we have videos of the sort planned to keep you guys hype all week. So to make sure you don't miss out on any of that, help us get even closer to that glorious 100k by subscribing to the channel and ringing the bell for notifications. And if you want to help us go further and set the anime manga game on fire, please consider supporting us over on Patreon. Links in the description. We are really excited to share more with you guys because of course, when it comes to bringing you some of the best My Hero Academia content on the platform, Plot Armor has you covered. As always, I am Slice of Otaku. Thank you all so much for watching and have an awesome day. I love you.